In a virtual environment or in a simulated environment, we can put the students in situations where they can make mistakes, where they need guided practice. In the clinical settings, you can't do that. You also don't know if they're going to get the exact experience you want. Students in a clinical setting might be faced in a challenging situation that they may not experience as a student. So using tools like vSIMs or virtual simulations or even VR clinicals, which is a virtual reality simulation, allows students to really enhance in a, a challenging patient care scenario in a safe space. If a student does not have psychological safety, they really can't engage in their higher order thinking. And so what we really try to do is create an environment where they know that it's okay to make mistakes. VSIM really works on getting you that clinical practice without actually being on the floor with real patients. It gives you an opportunity to make mistakes, but also learn and grow. And the experience that I've had with VSIM is that you have a patient and you're able to ask them any question that you want and get a response. It's a detailed response and it's not anything that's vague. So you're able to take that information, learn from it, and then go on. Being exposed to the simulation experiences that we have available to them, being exposed to the virtual reality experiences that our students have, that is makes them just that much more practice ready. And to be able to practice in a rapidly changing uh, technological environment.